Hey guys, thanks for clicking play. Well, I'm out in a new listing here. Uh, we're in Polk County, Wisconsin, and I'm not gonna tell you where it's at because it's not listed yet, but I'm out with, uh, we're gonna call you an intern. This is Anna the intern. She's a marketing uh, intern with uh, at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. She's kind of interested in sales and marketing. So she wants to see what the American Landman's doing. So we are out here and we're gonna walk through our property. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Of course, we take some photos. I'll get some uh, video, and if this comes up for sale, you'll get to hear about it first. Thanks for watching. Okay, well, we're at the north end of the property, and I'm going to call this kind of like the old growth area because the area that we started out in looked like it had been thin. And when I came in here, I noticed right away that a lot of the bigger trees had been taken out. And what that sometimes indicates to me is that maybe this is in the Manage Forest Law program, and that is a management program that helps you manage your timber in exchange for lower taxes. And the way I, the why I see that is because they've got it cut in little pockets where a forester probably came in, marked some trees, opened up the canopy, let the sunlight in, and it grew up to be really thick. And eventually I'll get some video of that and I'll show you. Um, so that was a tip uh, that can work two ways. That can be good because it reduces your taxes, but it also puts the government kind of involved in your property and not everybody likes that. So you can actually lose some of your buyers because you've got government intrusion. Not everybody likes that. You can buy your, your way out of that program. It's not super expensive and some people like it. Some people don't. It's just something to take notice. And I noticed when I saw the cut that something probably is going on here. So Anna and I are, we're working our way through, just kind of randomly, you know, walking through this property, but there's a great trail system in here. And this was probably made when they did the logging. And so this type of work adds a lot of value to the property because this is probably $2,000 a day to do this. And I've said this many times that if you spend $5,000 on trails, a couple days work, you'll get 10, $15,000, maybe 20 even, back on the sale it always pays off so it's a great investment to have this trail system put in here well we're working our way through the ridge and we found ourselves a nice box blind it looks pretty good so we did a little 360 to get some photos just checking for me personally i'm checking for um uh hornet's nest before i go in there i don't want to get stung i've been attacked before and had to jump right out of the darn blind Let's go up in there and let's see what it looks like. I'm like a licensed trespasser. This is the best part of my job. Okay, all right. Hardwood floors, not insulated, but definitely solid. It's got a lifetime supply of chairs up here, which is perfect, bringing a whole gang up here. Anna, I think you can sit in here. It wouldn't be too bad, huh? Oh yeah, this is okay. <laughs> so here's the view out. It's got sliding glass door or windows here. I can figure out how to open them up. Yeah. I don't know, but sliding open, kind of see the view out there. So this looks pretty good. So the thing is with these uh, box blinds, they don't they don't add a lot of value to a property, but they it's kind of the cool factor that it's already here. A lot of guys in Wisconsin, especially, they like the idea that they're going to have this blind they get to come back to every year. And I've seen some with wood burning furnaces in here and. But you just throw Mr. Buddy in here and you're good to go. So it's kind of a, a cool plus, if you will. Doesn't add a ton of value, but it'll definitely get you a buyer faster, no doubt. So we looked on the map and we used the land ID software. And we noticed that there is a pond in the northwest corner. So uh, we checked with the owner and he says this is actually filled with water all year round. So I'll bet you if I wasn't talking, I'd get some uh, wood ducks on here. But let's go down and we'll go down and check it out. Thing about water, I mean, any time that I get water on a property, every single time it adds value, especially if it's good and clear water, if it's fishable water, if it's spring-fed water, but even water like this, this, this is in the middle of the timber. So this is gonna have a lot of wildlife draw, and I'll guarantee you that, um, well, there goes a, a hawk or an eagle, and we, we kicked up some ducks from the end when we came in here, and surely the deer and the bear are, are using it, because I'm seeing some trails coming down here. So. Anytime there's water on a property, it just adds biodiversity. I like to see it. It adds a lot to a property. 